Hello. Welcome back to another pen talk. We're going to continue on a theme that we've been on for a while, and this uh, packaging may give it away. Yes, I got another pen from China, delivered relatively quickly. There's a, a an association between the China Post and the United States postal system, and it gets delivered fairly well. So it was wrapped in some protective material inside of the plastic bag and it, you know your nice kind of ubiquitous velvet pouch uh, designed for a pen and we'll slide the pen out again looks familiar to some mashups of some things but some interesting features and details that are different so we look at the label that's attached, we'll see it say 3008, and I'm assuming these Chinese characters stand for Wing Sung. And it is quite interesting. Again, a mashup of a number of different styles. The price on this pen was excellent. Here's the eBay auction. And as I said, it was delivered relatively quickly. Here's the uh, auction date and the shipping time. It comes in colors, which I'm assuming is this anodized aluminum piston filling mechanism. It's a system very similar, well, not similar to anything, I have to say. As you can see, as you go down, it gets kind of hard because the cap seals well. If you undo the cap a little bit, then you can keep going down to the bottom. It doesn't open up. I have no idea how you service this pen. The barrel has very interesting uh, flat sections to it, many of them. And I think that really adds to the interesting characteristics and it's going to look nice with the ink in the pen. And that same features is on the turning knob the piston turning knob, which also feels good in the hand. You know, a nice uh, plated metal band there between the piston filler and the piston mechanism. You can feel it going up and down. It's not as smooth as some of my other ones, but as you can see, it goes all the way up to the top, which is nice. We have the model designation, which is typical of a lot of these pens on, uh, on the clip. And then we have the maker, which I'm assuming again is Wing Sung, a classic clip just a chrome rhodium plated finial that's stiff you know you once you get that on your your pocket or put material there it's going to stay there it's an unscrew cap you know about a turn to unscrew it and we see also another nice clear section and feed we have a fine nib and that's an interesting uh logo on that nib kind of looks like uh, one that we've seen before the other thing that's interesting is this is a slip-on nib similar to what you'll find on Lamy so this is like the Lamy nib some of the other pens have a pilot style nib and some of them have just a, uh, something more classical as a number five you have a matching metal band to the to one at the top of the barrel um, the section feels nice in the hand. It's a little on the small side, but certainly not uncomfortable. And you can hold it wherever you want. You don't feel the threads at all. Let's see if it posts. It does post. It posts securely, but it makes for a very long pen. Um, the weighting is not to my desire. So I think unposted and you can see how secure that was unposted it worked well with me and as you can see it fits well in my medium sized hands I just want to give a little twirl twirl um, there doesn't seem to be many sellers on eBay and you don't get to pick your color um, I would have to admit that this probably wasn't my first color but it's kind of subtle so it's at least you know I think it's kind of subtle but on this light it's it's a li little bit more dramatic than I, uh, I saw under you know regular light you know we have some nice patterns uh, internal pattern in the barrel uh, towards the top of the cap and that looks like it's primarily there just for aesthetics you know there's a screw at the bottom there which uh, I think if you got a screwdriver in there you could take the cap 
uh, uh, click clip and, and, and finial off this cap and that would make it easy to service. You know, nice solid cap band there. So people that are concerned about cracking at the bottom of the cap, this certainly would not have that issue. The pen feels good. I mean, this feels like a Twisby 580. Um, I'm being very uh, honest about that. One piece section, kind of like a Twisby Eco. A nice uh, rubber O-ring here, again, a uh, Twisby feature, and that probably will seal this up very well, which is nice. So I'm not going to flush this pen. I'm just going to ink it up, and we're going to put nib to paper. And I don't find, uh, I don't, again, have high expectations for the nib, but similar to the other uh, pen that I had that has a nib similar to this one, it, write, it wrote fairly well for a, an extra fine nib. A logo on... The nib looks similar to a logo that we've seen. It's a Wing Sung logo. Maybe it's something that they're starting up. So this is that 6359 or the Lamy All-Star uh, Mimic. This has a snap-off cap. This one unscrews. We're just going to take a quick look at the, the nibs. And you can see it's that, that Lamy design. Feet is the same. This one is obviously inked up. But one of the things that I'll say right away is that I really think this is a beautiful, clean design here. Also, the plating is a little bit more reflective and a little bit more of a silvery color on the 3008. Uh, so that's what's nice. And this one labeled extra fine. That one's labeled fine. As if we try to focus on the tipping material, you can see that it certainly has more tipping material than the extra fine. So that should... Uh, make the writing style a little bit more to my desire. Which is the more obvious one is the 698. So overall the pens are pretty much the exactly the same size. The clip is designed differently. It has a, a, again the same solid finial but not the, the design pattern in it. You know I find both of them to be equally interesting and useful. Here the, it has a more standard uh, cap band at the bottom where the wing sung 698 has a little di different one. Filling mechanism is similar but different. Again, this one comes apart quite easily on the 698. The, the other one I have yet to figure out how to take it apart. And the other thing that's the major difference is they both have the clear section and feed. But the 698 has your pilot nib, and as you can see, I did replace this with a pilot nib, where the other one has the Lamy style nib. It's just uh, amazing to see them replicating some of the more classic designs. And one of my viewers made a comment that pilot and Lamy may have uh, done some pen manufacturing in China, and that may have been how that uh, style and technology um, was observed by the Chinese and maybe incorporated with, uh, with, with that in some of their pens that they've been making recently. Well, from a simply aesthetics and design feature, I like this 3008, the way it's designed. I love the facets on, on the barrel. You know, the clip is a, a more uh, classic design clip. So just from a visual feature, they both feel about the same. They both have about the same weight. Uh, they both have that classic feel to it, which I think is PMMA resin or Pressish resin, as some manufacturers like to call it. Yeah, you know, they, they both have that band uh, just below the piston filling cap here that uh, moves the piston up and down. The piston is the same double ring piston, which seems to be now quite popular among these types of piston filling pens. So overall, I'm going to see how this one writes and, and um, see how if it actually does keep the nib wet. And uh, then it may join, again, the set of daily writers, which now seems to be quite larger than it should be. But we'll find some interesting ink to put in this one and, and add it to the rotation. There wasn't one ink that yelled out and say, put me in this pen, but this is an ink I just got. It took me a while after I ordered it because it... Uh, they couldn't, Anderson's couldn't ship until after the San Francisco show, which was the debut of this ink. You know, to Robert Oster, um, we're all amazed at the amazing amount of colors and variety, consistency, and quality of the ink. That's an interesting color. It certainly has a major blue component in it. 
Um, also some green I can see in there. Of course, I, as I mentioned to you before, color is not my forte. So the piston's all the way down. We're just going to insert this in, draw up the first draw. And I think that's a good first draw. I did not flush this pen, so we're going to flush it with ink. So we're going to go down and up some more times. Be careful not to overflow because I had the pen in there pretty good. Yeah, this is just something I do. All of us have our own little quirks and our own little things, but you know, I don't think it's good uh, to just put ink just one time in a pen for the first time and expect it to get a consistent writing experience. I mean, there's, there's, it can always happen, but after three times up and down, I think we got a very, very good fill. So let's uh, see how this uh, pen performs. Before we do the writing sample, I just thought we'd do a, another comparison. So here is the Wingsung 3008. Here's your Twisby 580. Here's your Twisby Eco. Your Wingsung 698. And your Wingsung, that I'll get the number here in a second, 618. There are a lot of similarities between the 580 and the 3008. That clip is uh, very close to being identical. The cap band is also a very similar size. You have uh, the same facets and it appears to be pretty close to the same type of facets in the, the 580. The 580 has, these are parallel and these have a slight angle to them. So I think it adds to the allure and how they work. But then you have this piston filling mechanism, which has that interesting um, aluminum in it. Uh, your same band here at the bottom of the piston knob. Um, you don't see the threads here, so that's why I'm questioning how that thing comes apart, but that's for another day. And, uh, you know, the finial and the cap are very similar, except you don't have that Twisby insert in the top. I'm impressed. I mean, they're very similar. And then you have that metal band at the end, which is a little bit different between these two. We'll uncap them. Again, we see that common O-ring here at the bottom of the section. The nibs are quite different. Um, you know, the Lamy style nib here, and then your standard looks like a number five. I haven't replaced any of these nibs, so um, they're the ones that came with the pen. Certainly interesting. Um, I don't have the 580 inked up. I did recently replace th uh, this piece because it had cracked, but they were very quickly, um, uh, Twisby responded very quickly to customer service and sent me the replacement parts uh, without any uh, question and without any delay. So again, they have this little metal part at the bottom, but you know, it serves a different function. This is a one piece here where this unscrews so you can take this apart a little bit easier. In this pen you'd have to pull out the uh, the nib and the feed to to get inside if you wanted to flush it well. And it's my computer telling me I have mail. The piston mechanisms is probably the biggest difference between the two. But again you have those two uh, parts to the piston itself that uh, squeegee down the sides of the pen barrel and both of these pistons work very well. This looks like the Twisby might hold a little bit more ink. Uh, the end caps are, I think, are similar between the two. You know, slight differences, but both of them have their aesthetic appeal. So that's that comparison. Okay. The proof is in the pudding. How does the pen write? I'm certain you can see it lays down a nice line. In fact, I'd say an excellent line. I really like this color. I wouldn't say it's exactly what I thought it would be. And so the first pen I put in it, I put it in. 
but this nib is as smooth as anything and I really do like the way the flow is. The flow is excellent. I would say it's uh, fairly wet. I do like this ink. It's, it is in the teal family. I'm going to do a review of teal inks because I kind of got into them and then out of them and then into them. So uh, we'll take a look at that. There's been a couple reviews of this ink, so there's no reason for me to rush it. But, you know, I'll do my own, my own approach. So this is considered a fine nib. So let's take a look at how it compares to other fine nibs. Here's your... Twisby Eco, which has been a really go-to for me. And I've had this thing inked up for a year with the same ink, so I just flushed it again. And one of the interesting things about that is I think you need to flush pens at least once a month, even if you don't change inks in them, or even if they don't dry out, or any of those other things. It's just to keep things moving, to make this ink fresh, you know. As you can see, the piston here doesn't come all the way up. I haven't worked on this one to adjust it, because I inked it up and it wrote right away, and I was very happy with it. You know, you have your O-ring down here, just like you did on uh, the Wing Sung. And this is also a, a fine nib, but a Twisby fine nib. And the style is, is different. You know, this is a, a number five, if my recollection is good. So this is a Twisby fine. Sorry for the different ink color, but uh, there's no way I'm going to flush this thing out. And I really like this. This is one of my red go-to pens. And this is also smooth, as smooth as, as the Wing Sung nib. And as we uh, take a look at this, I think uh, the flow is similar. Very nice flow. This is uh, Eroshuku uh, Mojito. It's their red ink. I've had this for a while, and it is a really, really nice red. So that's uh, the comparison to the Twisby. So I also think we should compare that to the fine nib in the Wingsung 698. This is a pen that I haven't put another nib in. So this has had the Wingsung nib in it from the very beginning, and it's the labeled fine. So this is the 698 fine. And I've had this inked up with uh, Noodler's ink. We'll put that name down below. It's a black ink, but it's one, not one of the more common ones. And I, this is a pen that writes first time every time. And, and this fine line is definitely a little finer than the Wing Sung. So the, 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 the Lamy style nib, and this is again a pilot style nib. And I've replaced this with some Plumix and... Uh, 78G nibs when I wanted some stub access to it, but this also lays down a nice patch. I don't expect that to spare much because this ink dries pretty quickly, and I really like how it, it works in, in the pen. The other thing we should do is take a look at the nib, the other Lamy style nib that Wing Sung is making, which is in this pen. And I'd call this an extra fine. It has an EF on it, so that kind of gives it away. And this is definitely an extra fine. I don't expect this uh, ink to be as dark as the rest of them because this is Apache Sunset, but you can see how that compares to uh, 3008, the 698, and uh, this one here, which is the All Star thing. And last but not least, I just want to Go back to a pen I reviewed a week or so ago, and I just have fallen in love with this pen. I really do use it every day, and it's great to, to take out. And to me, one of the things that's nice is when you have a pen that's been knocked around and in and out of cars, and, and you know, we got uh, summertime here in the east coast of the United States, so it gets a little bit warm. And the fact that the pen works first time every time. So this is a great writer. This is also a fine nib, but you know, a, a different style nib than, than the other ones. You know, this is a fully hooded nib like the Parker 51. You can definitely see that ink pooling in there. And so we'll go up to our little cross hatches. We'll take a look at how this compares to the other ones. And I would say this is finer than the extra fine. Sorry, yeah, not as fine as the extra fine. 
probably similar to the 698, maybe a little bit thicker, but not quite as thick as the 3008. So I just think that's, that's amazing, and, and I think we need to be consistent here and show the Twisby in this same category. And that, again, is more similar to the 3008. And I like all of these nibs, and I'm not a fine or extra fine guy, but, you know, when you're writing every day and you're writing on different types of paper, it's always good to have a consistent writer and one that works well on all different papers. And I really uh, like the facets on, on the pen. You know, it's a nice little feature, you know, kind of a quality feature. Uh, not too many pens with faucets like this around. You know, Twisby did it a little bit, but these are finer. You know, I didn't count how many of them, but there's a lot of them. And this does write well, which is really, I'm very impressed again. So we're going to give this a WOW squared. I've been running out of different types of WOWs, but I think WOW squared is pretty good. So thank you for watching. I really do like this Robert Oster ink. It's really nice. So may you have many great writing experiences. Explore the phenomenal world of pens, inks, and paper. Enjoy them. Enjoy your life. Till later. Bye.